value of kt at room temperature uh, kt if you remember is also called thermal energy boltzmann constant times absolute temperature one mole of any gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure is found experimentally to occupy a volume of 24 liters use this result to estimate the value of kt at room temperature express your answer in ergs and also in electron volts so we're not going to express in ergs but we will express in joules and also in electron volts and uh, one electron volt is 1.6 10 to minus uh, 19 joules okay so uh, the pressure atmospheric pressure in SI units uh, that is uh, one atmosphere is equal to 1.01 .01 times 10 to 5 pascals uh, pascal basically means uh, newton per meter square the volume is 24 liters and we know that one meter cube is 1000 liters so this is 24 times 10 to minus 3 meter cube in SI units. Now we can use the ideal gas law and we also know that one mole uh, corresponds to a number of particles Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to 23 uh, molecules. So we have so many molecules in one more. Now using the ideal gas law, P bar V is equal to number of molecules Boltzmann constant times temperature, we find that the KT should be P bar V divided by number of uh, molecules. So we have 1.01 1 .01, uh, 10 to 5 uh, pascals multiplied by 24 10 to minus 3 meter cube divided by Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 uh, so this gives us a KT value of 4.03 uh, uh, times 10 to minus 21 uh, joules so this is using SI system uh, in CGS system the unit of energy is ergs and uh, one uh, erg is equal to uh, one joule is equal to 10 to 7 ergs so one electron volt is 1.6 10 to minus 12 ergs means 1.6 10 to minus 19 joules so that's just uh, extra information for you conversion between cgs and si units now uh, now i need to uh, convert this to electron volts so i have uh, kt is equal to 4.03 times 10 to minus 21 uh, divided by 1.6 times 10 to minus uh, 19 uh, which is equal to uh, roughly 0 0.025 electron volts or 25 milli electron volts this is actually an important uh, number to remember uh, it's uh, basically the value of kt at uh, room temperature is uh, and atmospheric pressure well it's at room temperature uh, we have uh, 1 over 40 electron volts or 25 milli electron volts so this is uh, an easy number to remember so we have used the ideal gas law p bar v is equal to nkt ideal gas law has two forms uh, one is using the uh, Boltzmann constant k and the other one is using the universal gas constant R, but this time it's not number of 
uh, particles, uh, nu is number of moles. Uh, so the relationship between universal gas constant and K is that uh, R is equal to Avogadro's number times K. So you can see that here, if you have nu and A, uh, KT, nu times NA, number of moles times Avogadro's number is equal to uh, number of molecules times Boltzmann constant times temperature. Now we know that at one atmospheric pressure at, and room temperature, uh, the one mole of any gas occupies 24 uh, liters. So using this information, we have found that the KT value is 4.03 10 to minus 21 joules because it's P bar V over capital N number of molecules. So uh, and uh, in electron volts, we have to divide it by the electron charge, 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs. Uh, so if we divide this uh, joules divided, divided by electron charge, we obtain 0 0.025 electron volts or 25 milli electron volts, which is actually 1 over 40 electron volts.